up in uh, Mammoth Hot Springs and we are at the base of where we were yesterday. Take a quick look. Good place to make a morning pit stop. <laughs> up at Hot Mammoth Springs and at the bottom you can see behind me something called the Liberty Cap or Liberty Cap Rock. This is an extinct thermal formation so I don't know if that means it was just spewing off steam or if it erupted like a lot of the other geysers but it's incredibly old and it kind of looks just like it was randomly placed there in this like random flat patch at the bottom of the Mammoth Hot Springs called Liberty Cap because it resembles the hats that the poor French people wore during the French Revolution. As you can kind of see the brim there. And that's where it gets its name. So cool little fun fact. Let's keep going on our trip. Day three in Yellowstone. So this section was closed off yesterday and it's supposed to be a pretty good little loop that takes us around to hopefully see some wildlife. So we are going to try our luck and see if we can find any critters today. drive where we're supposed to see a whole lot of critters and we've seen a couple pronghorn and some ground squirrels and a bunch of different birds but we had to take a quick pit stop and walk up on the hill to take a look at this so for today's adventure since this lower row, Tower Roosevelt, is closed. We turned around here yesterday and backtrack out to our exit. We're actually going here along the route that is on the Lamar Valley and already just on this first little stretch, we 
see a cute little pronghorn right out there in the field. started off today with no specific plan other than go explore the road that goes along the Lamar Valley and we went almost towards the end towards where the park exits and we climbed up and down some really big rocks to see some waterfall features. We stopped and watched some bison. We got out and looked at fields of beautiful flowers and listened to the birds and now we just get to go home and look at the beautiful scenery in front of us.
coolest bear experience. We were incredibly close. It was just right across the street, but the rangers did tell us that we had to go back to our cars because the bear was getting very close to that, the opposite side of the street. And it started jumping at bugs and animals as if it were playing, but it scared a lot of people because it looked like it was attacking. But we're gonna watch for just a few more minutes and then head on. A little bit further down the road and there's a bear and a cub. adventures on day three in Yellowstone like I am absolutely blown away um, I was hoping to see at least one bear we have seen two and a cub so far I have seen hundreds and hundreds of bison and too many elk to count it has been fantastic so far definitely if you're looking for animals the northern loop heading out to the northeastern exit towards Lamar Valley towards Lamar Valley is amazing and plus there's beautiful water, beautiful rivers, and it's not as crowded. Like it's mm -hmm. busy, but it's not crowded. So yes. definitely suggest doing that. Where's that? 